Hello, everybody, and this is Mr. Odom, and we're back for part two of section 4.3, solving inequalities using multiplication and division. You need the same stuff you always need. Make sure you got your pencil, composition book, or notebook, paper, and calculator. And the learning target for this video is the same as for part one. You can solve inequalities using multiplication and division. So let me jump right to the key idea. So the difference between what we did last time in part one and this time is right here. In 4.3 in the first video, uh, part one, it said when you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same positive number, then it went on. Now, if you multiply um, or divide each side of an inequality by the same negative number, then something happens to the sign. Here it's less than, here it's greater than. That sign changes directions. If you don't change the direction of the sign, then the inequality is not going to be true. So here's an example. So we all know that, let's say, 2 is greater than uh, negative 3. All right, so what happens if we multiply both sides by negative two? Okay, we'll multiply that side by negative two, we'll multiply this side by negative two. So we're multiplying by the same thing, right? But let's see if this inequality remains true. So negative two times positive two is negative four, and we're saying that that is greater than negative three times negative two is positive six. Negative four is not greater than positive six, all right? Negative four is less than positive six. So that's why we need to, if this is my inequality going this way, if I multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, I need to change the direction of the inequality sign. So that way, the statement is still true. This inequality is still true. So let's just look at some examples, okay? Oh, this common error, this comes into play. Just because you have a negative sign in, in, in an inequality, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to reverse the inequality symbol. It's only when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. That's the only time, right there when you are going to have to change the direction of the inequality sign. So let's look at some examples. Here's number seven and nine. We're gonna work these out Let me get some green. So I have X divided by negative three is greater than negative four. I know I need to multiply this side by negative three in order to get X all by itself. So I multiply this side by negative three and I just wrote on the four with my that wasn't very nice. I did. I need to make my parentheses nicer. There we go. So there's canceling that goes on here, and I end up with x. Remember, I need to change the direction of my inequality sign. Why? Because I am multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative number. So 4 times negative 3 ends up being positive 12, and I'm good to go. And you guys already know how to graph this stuff. We've been graphing like crazy. And you guys are good at it. It goes up to the left. That's where 12 is. And there's my graph. So here's all the solutions. This is a picture of all the solutions. All right, let's look at number 9. So I have negative 12 is greater than or actually I already wrote it down. It's fine. Greater than or equal to. 6 fifths times m. Notice the coefficient here. This coefficient is a fraction, right? So remember, I need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5, 6, right? It's 5, 6. I need to multiply this side by 5, 6, okay? Notice over here, everything cancels. 
Bye. See you later. It's nice knowing you. And I end up with M on this side. Do I reverse the sign? Well, over here, I'm multiplying by a negative number, but negative 12 was already part of the problem. I'm multiplying both sides by a positive number, so I do not change the direction of the inequality sign. Okay, and I can do some canceling. That's one. That becomes negative two. Five times negative two is negative 10. Or I can write this this way. M is less than or equal to negative 10. And then you guys know how to graph this stuff. So let me put negative 10 here. Scroll down a little bit. Negative 10 there. There's my zero. Put a circle around it. I'm going to color it in because it's less than or equal to and go that direction. Okay. So if you're watching this in YouTube, uh, go ahead and pause the video. And I want you to work out problems 8 and 10 in your composition book. If you're watching this on um, through Edpuzzle, then the video is going to pause now so you can work these out in your composition book. All right, we're back. What did we get for problems 8 and 10? All right, so I showed my work. For problem number um, eight, here's my solution. And then the picture of the solution. For number 10, here's my solution. And here's the picture of the solution. Okay. Let's look at some more of these. The more we practice, the better we'll get. All right. So this time, um, I have negative 5z is less than 35. So I'm multiplying by a negative number, negative 5 times z. So let me divide by this negative 5. Remember, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, then we need to change the direction of our inequality sign. So these become 1 because they cancel. I end up with z is greater than negative 7. You guys know how to graph. I'll do it right here. Circle around it. It's going to go up in this way, and I put 0 here, and that's negative 7. So there's my graph. Z is greater than negative 7, and the solutions. Okay? Let's look at number 13. So for this one, negative 1 1.5 is less than 3n. Let me go ahead, and I need to divide both sides by 3 this side by 3. Notice I'm dividing by a positive number. So I don't do anything with the sign. It stays pointing in the same direction. And then negative 1.5 divided by 3 is negative 0 0.5. Or I could write it this way. N is greater than negative 0 0.5. I need some more room here so that I can... Draw my graph. Got to have my graph. So I'll put negative 0 0.5 here. And I'll draw a circle around that. Um, here's 0 here. N is greater. So there you go. There's my graph. All right. So now I want you guys to work out problems 12 and 14. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just stop and... Pause the video and work those out in your composition book. Um, if you're watching this through Edpuzzle, the video will stop. Um, it'll pause on its, uh, on its own, and you'll have some time to work these out in your composition book. Okay, we're back, and let's look at some answers. All right, problem 12. You see what I did here? I had to divide both sides by negative 2, so I had to switch the direction of the sign, and there's my graph. On this one, I had to divide both sides by negative 0 0.7, so I had to switch the direction of the sign, and then um, I wrote it this way so that I could have W on the left-hand side, and then I graphed it here. Okay, so hopefully that's what you got. You guys are going to get some practice with this in the online assignments. So um, this is Mr. Odom. Uh, it's been fun working with you. 
and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.